in this session let us see how to calculate stable operating point okay torque developed by motor will have characteristic and torque requirement of the load will have characteristic actually many times in the problems we say that for a constant load torque for a constant load torque in induction motor and all okay but like you know torque requirement of the load may not be constant in a physical uh, practical way like you know for example solid to solid kind of metal cutting okay so for metal cutting torque requirement is constant for example solid to liquid solid to liquid in the sense torque requirement is going to be directly proportional to speed okay for example if you think of solid to air in the sense of our ceiling fan and all torque requirement will be directly proportional to speed square so basically torque requirement by the load will have some characteristic and torque developed by the motor will have some characteristic when these two meet at a point stable or unstable operating points will come so in order to explain that let us see for example this is torque okay and this is going to be speed now let us think of torque developed by the motor is this okay or electromagnetic torque developed by the motor is this okay now for example let us think of low torque requirement is this low torque requirement is this so i'm going to have here maybe point a and point b okay so which is stable operating point we have to find okay so in order to find stable operating point don't get any conclusion just be but just by saying this okay because the direction of rotation is important for example if speed is in this direction okay basically this particular direction of speed is very important just by seeing this only we should be able to tell whether it is like you know stable operating point or unstable operating point for example this is uh, motor torque developed and this is low torque requirement okay for example if my motor torque is more than the low torque basically low torque in the sense low torque will try to oppose the motor as we discussed multiple times okay so this is my motor motor torque is more opposition low torque development is less this is less this is more in the sense under that condition my motor will accelerate okay for example if low torque this is the low torque opposition torque so low torque uh, requirement is more and motor torque developed torque is not that much okay so opposition is more compared to the push under that condition rotor will decelerate okay then when motor applied torque equal to the low torque equal to the low torque at that speed continuously it will rotate okay now how to find whether a point is stable operating point or not for example see here remember in the direction of speed in the direction of speed immediately after this point okay so dry line now after this what is happening low torque is becoming more motor torque developed is less so motor torque in the sense motor torque developed is less low torque opposition is more low torque opposition is more means that it is going to be decelerating torque okay for example if you see in increment in direction of speed here you have to remember that in increment in direction of speed for example let me draw one thing here okay so if i draw one thing here immediately after in the direction of rotation of uh, speed uh, after this particular point okay so what is happening here means my motor torque developed is more low torque requirement is less so low torque requirement is less my motor torque developed is more so it is going to be accelerating torque so this is going to be accelerating torque and this is going to be decelerating torque okay so decelerating torque in the sense means see here for example before this before this what is happening motor torque is more low torque is less okay so when motor torque is more and low torque is less automatically it will have acceleration after this point it is going to be deceleration so here motor torque equal to the low torque so here it is going to be stable and here this is going to be unstable okay now upon this like you know let us see get questions of course multiple times they have given so for example here okay always you have to remember the speed okay so in increment in direction of speed okay immediately after the junction point let us draw one line 
let us draw one line if i draw one line low torque requirement is more electromagnetic torque developed my motor developed torque is less and low torque requirement is more so opposition is more push is less so it is going to be decelerating torque decelerating torque so this is going to be stable now let us come to here okay so in this question immediately in increment in direction of speed that is very important okay in increment in direction of speed dry line now what is happening electromagnetic torque developed is more low torque requirement is less electromagnetic torque developed is more low torque opposition is less it is more so it is going to be accelerating torque so after this junction point what is happening immediately after this it is going to be acceleration so rotor will not be stopped there rotor will be accelerated so this is going to be unstable now let us see this particular point okay so in this in this like you know in increment in direction of speed dry line after the junction point okay so after the junction point what is happening low torque is more electromagnetic torque is less so after the junction point it is going to be decelerating torque low torque low torque is more our electromagnetic torque is less so it is going to be decelerating torque so this point is going to be stable point okay now let us see here okay so if you see here what is happening here in increase in direction of speed in increase in direction of speed dry line okay if you dry a line low torque requirement is more after the junction point if i try to dry a line in direction of increase in speed low torque requirement is more my push my motor push is going to be less so it's going to be decelerating so it's going to be stable now coming back to here coming back to here okay in this direction of rotation speed okay so in this here for example let us think of this immediately after this in the increase in direction of speed if i dry a line if i dry a line motor developed torque is black which is more my low torque requirement is red which is less so my push is going to be more opposition is going to be less so this is going to be accelerating torque so this is going to be unstable and if you, if you see immediately the in this direction speed is given in this direction immediately after this what is happening low torque is see low torque is more my electromagnetic torque developed is less so it is going to be decelerating torque so this is going to be stable okay now let us come back to here okay in increase in speed direction dry line okay so increase actually speed uh, what they say is changed from x axis to y axis in increase in direction of speed if you dry a line torque here motor developed torque is motor developed torque is more and here low torque is less okay so see here in the black okay motor developed torque is more torque this is actually in x axis motor developed torque is more low torque requirement is less what does it mean my push is more my load opposition is less so it is going to be accelerating torque so this is going to be unstable okay now if you try to take here okay in increase in direction of speed if i dry a line if i dry a line okay so what is happening here this is going to be low torque requirement which is more motor torque developed require motor torque developed is less so that is going to be decelerating so this is going to be stable okay so conclusion is very simple what is that immediately after the junction point dry a line in increase in direction of rotation that particular axis with that axis dry a line and uh, reflect that to torque axis for example if torque developed by the motor is more compared to opposition low torque means it will be acceleration accelerating torque under that condition motor cannot be stopped there if after the junction point if my motor torque is less low torque is more in the sense it will be decelerating torque so before that that particular point is going to be stable operating point